why did John Fox take this job? It seemed like uh, uh, this wasn't a good fit for John Fox. A rebuilding team. He's not really a rebuilding coach. Was this just him wanting some money? Was no one else hiring him to just get his name back out there? Do you know the drive behind why John Fox accepted the job? You know, it's a great question. Um, I'd have to go back and really check to see on that day when he got hired how many of the other jobs were still available. Um, I seem to think that a lot of them have been filled already. But if you, I, if you go back to the timeline, you know, Ryan Pace gets hired. I think he got officially introduced on a Friday. And that weekend, John Fox was coaching the Denver Broncos in, uh, in Denver mm-hmm. against the Indianapolis Colts in a game that the Broncos were favored to win. And most people expected them to win. And I believe that was the divisional round. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, you can think about a general manager, and he goes through the interviews with, with the team that's that's interviewing him, and and thinking about hiring him. I'm talking about Ryan Pace now. They're going to ask you, okay, who's on your short list of of coaches? Who do you want to hire? Who do you want to go after? Who do you have relationships with? I don't think John Fox was on that list, unless the rumors that sort of were percolating a little bit were extreme enough behind the scenes that Ryan knew that he was going to be let go. But let's also think about the timing. Everyone thought he was going to win that week. So then another week goes by before the AFC championship game even happens. You know, it's very unlikely if the Broncos win that game that week that John Fox ever became mm-hmm. the head coach of the Chicago Bears. And that's kind of interesting to think about. Thank you, and, uh, Yeah, and the Bears also had this... this uh, or, advisor that they had hired, Ernie Accorsi, who had a really strong relationship with John Fox. So I got the sense that it took a lot of convincing for Ryan Pace. And remember, he interviewed John in Chicago and then flew to Denver, actually, the next day. And the wives got together. They all got together kind of as a group of four. And that's really when Ryan Pace decided to make that hire. I think that this was really the only option for John Fox. They're paying him pretty handsomely. And it came together so fast that I'm not even sure Ryan Pace knew at that time how big of a rebuilding job this was, and I'm pretty sure John Fox did it. So this may have been something he walked into and didn't really understand the full extent of until maybe even a whole season went by, and they kind of all realized the cupboard was pretty bare.